Hey guys, Eois here, WTHF Mob. Today I'm doing a little tutorial video for the external GPU and the Thunderbolt case, the Sonnet Echo Express 3D. So let's have a closer look. This is the Sonnet Echo Express 3D. As you can see, I've added four molex for powering the GPU but uh, someone asked uh, for how do you add those so i'm showing you how i add four molex to the uh, sonnet echo express 3d just put it there in a safe place now I have to remove this, just more screws. Those are the same for um, every screw. So now I must be very, very careful let's have a close-up now as you can see there are more wires than the original case so it's a little tight okay um, just some more screws so here we go that's the Sonnet Echo Express 3 power supply with extra cables. The things you have to do to add the more cables is to unscrew those ones, so this is the original 12 volts cables and these are mine 12 volts cables uh, to the four molex all you need to do is to in intercept the 12 volts and add your cables I used to change GPU very often because I'm using this like a test bench. So I need the Molex connectors. But if you plan to build a GPU you want to change, you can add the 6 pin or 8 pin as for your GPU. So it's cooler. I mean it's not bad to add uh, to have uh, molex but uh, but it's not a really clean installment i know if you don't plan to change a gpu or you want to do a very very clear install you just add um, the 6 or 8 pin you need for uh, your graphic card but if you want a modular case uh, that's the way i think you should go I've taken this from uh, from a um, PC power supply and uh, cut it and then uh, crimped. I think this is the word to to these uh, connectors, so I can screw and uh, or unscrew the, those. It's uh, all reversible, at least for um, for the Sonnet Express. Uh, th those uh, ne need to be cut uh, and uh, crimped. So, if you don't know how to do this, I'll show you. So, this is my PC power supply that I have uh, teared down to take the cables from, from it. And as you can see, I have one more 6-pin connector. To just, uh, I'm showing you guys, I don't need this because I, I want the Molex one. And what you need is to cut these. Then you need to have crimping tools like this one. The one I used is this. 
around so I can screw those in the Echo Express just like the originals. But this is the last one I have. I'll um, show you with those. It's the same. You need to take all the yellow cables and the black cables apart. Twist them, then twist them together, this is pre pretty small for three cables, as you can see it's not uh, perfect. Okay, this is okay. You can pull every cable, so just so be sure you have uh, tightened this. If you want, you can cut there. So, this is an example, but you can do this uh, with those ones. And you will be ready to reattach those to the Sonnet power supply. Now, now that you have the, your cables, you need to um, reinstall those, just be sure to reconnect the, the right cables, yellow on the left, black on the right, at least in my power supply. And when you do the, this uh, uh, in your power supply, be sure to maybe take a photo to remember the correct order because you don't want to mess with the, these uh, cables or it will, will burn your house down. I, I am joking, but uh, you can do several damages. To your um, case and your power supply and your GPU so a good way to waste money is to mess with cables back to your to our power supply we have to reconnect those I'm doing this way I hope you guys see what I am doing So, I have tightened enough the screw. This is a little more um, complicated because the black cables are... But it's not uh, that hard. Be sure to check that those want a short, shortcut with each other. I can put this back in the case you can rebuild your rebuild your case i'm not used to do those things on the camera and i really hope you are seeing what i'm doing that's okay i can reboot the power on Hey there. So let's put, put this one back. What maybe you haven't seen before is now that the cables are more la large than this. So it's a little bit complicated to easily re report this. You have to do like this first. 
and then you just slide in place just uh, it's a, a big word here but but you you got you got it i hope so finally it's on its way to home just put the screws back the last one here we go it's finished it's very very useful to have uh, four molex for me as uh, I use this uh, like a test bench. So now that you have uh, your four molex, you can add uh, a six pin adapter, eight pin adapter, or two six to eight. What do you want? So that's all for today. I hope you enjoy this uh, little tutorial and uh, leave a like if you think uh, this is a good video. Leave a dislike if you think it's not. Subscribe for more video like this and see you in the next video. Bye bye! Now you have uh, your 